Hello, welcome everybody. I'm so excited to start this series. This series is for the beginner gardener. In this series, it's going to be six parts and I'm literally gonna walk you through step by step on how to begin your first garden if you have never ever put your hands in dirt because literally that is my story. So if you're brand new to my channel and brand new to watching me, my name is Barbara. I live in Tennessee and I live in zone 7B. We'll explain what zones mean as we go further into the video. But I'm starting in my sunroom um, because there's one thing I want to talk to you about before we even go outside. But I want to first tell you about why I decided to do this series and to tell you a little bit of my story. So I had never put my hands in dirt four years ago, literally. I grew up in the city. I was in a high-powered executive um, job. My background is in HR. And five years ago, we moved to the country in Tennessee. We live on about 75 plus acres of land. And when I got here, I'm thinking, oh, I guess I need a garden. That's what people do in the country, right? So literally, we moved in July 2019. And then April 2020 is when I first put my hands in dirt. Up until that point, I had never, ever gardened. I had not put my hands in dirt. I was used to wearing high heels, getting my nails done, and all the things. But in four years' time, not only have I learned how to grow food, I have fallen in love with growing food. And my YouTube channel is all about a safe space for you if you want to learn how to grow food. And so literally, I'm going to walk you through what I wish I could have found when I was looking to grow food. When I first started my first garden, I was clueless. I had no idea what I was doing, how to do it. Like I had zero knowledge and I would ask my friends here and there about this, this and that. And they tried to be helpful, but they would give me like step number 85 and I was on step minus zero. They assumed that I knew basic things. They assumed like, oh, it's not that big a deal. Just do this, this and this. Well, I'm the kind of person that I need step-by-step step in sequential order and it needs to make sense. Like I need all the details, right? And so if you're that kind of person, you're gonna love this series. If you're not that kind of person, you're still gonna love these, this series because you will be able to get your question answered about how to start a garden and how to do it the right way. When I was searching on YouTube, I could not find a beginner series that kind of just said, okay, start here, step one, step two, step three. And so that's what I am trying to create for you. It will be six parts. We will take it step by step, section by section. So I'm excited. If you are excited, I want you to go ahead and just put yes down below. So that way, when this video launches and I see your comments, I know that you are with me and you are ready to go. Now, before we go outside, the very first thing that we have to talk about are what are your garden goals and what is your mindset? We're going to get to the dirt. We're going to get to the plants. We're going to get to all of that. But before you start a garden, I want you to ask yourself, why are you going to go food? Why do you want to start a garden? Now, for me, I told you, I felt like that's what you do because I got all this land. I'm in the country. You grow food. That's what you should do. So I figured that's what I should do, right? There was no other, I didn't have a love for it. I didn't have a passion for it. It was more obligatory, right? And looking at the state of the world at that time, I'm thinking we probably need to have our own food source. So that's why I did it. Now, if you ask me today, I'm doing it for much different reasons than that. But I ask you right now, I want you to think about why are you growing food? Why do you want to start a garden? And I want you to put it down in the chat below. I want to see your reasons for why you have decided that you want to be a gardener. That's right. We're not just starting gardeners. We are becoming gardeners because there is a difference. And we'll talk about that as we continue to go through this series. But why are you growing food? What are your goals with growing food? That's question number two. So the goals I have is number one, to provide food for my family. That is my number one goal. And at this stage of the game, four years into it, my goal is to grow enough of one crop for a whole year. And we'll talk about that as well. That is my primary goal is to feed my family. 
My secondary goal is to be able to share it with family and friends, right? So my family knows they can come out here and get free produce all day long. So that's secondarily my um, goal. And then thirdly, we sell our excess produce. So it is a way for us to return a profit for all the money and energy and time that we invest in growing food. So those are my goals. Your goals may be different. So I want you to stop, pause, and think about what are your goals? So why are you growing food and what are your goals? Are you trying to replace a crop that you eat a lot of and you spend a lot of money on or you had a hard time finding? Are you just wanting to grow herbs to supplement your um, spices in the kitchen? Are you just wanting to grow a certain vegetable because like tomatoes, you like the way they taste fresh versus in the store? It doesn't matter what your goals are. It doesn't even matter why you're growing food. They're going to be different. The point is that I want you to think about why you're growing food and what your goals are, because that is the foundation as we move forward, okay? So now that we have that established, let's go outside and let's talk about our first step in beginning a garden. Okay, so now we're outside and this is actually where my garden started in the back of my house back in April, 2020. My husband and my son built me four wooden raised beds. That is where my garden started. That's where I'm standing. Now, a year later, we added an additional raised bed, but I'll show you, we have five raised beds. So I started with the four raised beds back in April, 2020. And so the very first step in beginning or starting your garden is one, where will your garden be? That is the first thing that you need to determine. And there's many things that you need to consider when you're thinking about where your garden is going to be. Number one, think about what space you have available. Now, some of you may have a house that is in a subdivision. Some of you may be living in an apartment. Some of you may be living on a lot of land like I do. It doesn't matter where you live. You have to think about your particular situation and where your garden is going to be. You need to be thinking about what access do you have to sunlight? So for example, back here, I know that I have plenty of sunlight um, and so that I knew that this would be a great spot. Let's say that you're in a apartment and you have a patio, right? Is your patio covered? Is it going to be indirect light or direct light? So think about those things. First of all, where do you even have space to have a garden? And does it have access to sunlight? Next, think about water. What is your closest water source? If you're going to be watering manually, how close are you going to be to a hose pipe, right? Or to a source of water? Again, like for me, my water spigot is on the on the side of my house. So I had to make sure that I had an, a long enough hose pipe, a hundred foot that was gonna reach from the side of my house all the way out here to my beds. Maybe you are gonna garden in a container. So maybe it's just you taking a watering can outside your back door and doing it. But you, whatever, however big or whatever scale you're doing it on, you need to be thinking about your access to water, your access to sunlight. Where does the sun hit wherever you're going to plant your stuff does it get sun does it get shade and pick a spot that is convenient now when i first started my garden literally i picked the back of my house that was the best place and really at the at that time the only place i could think of to put my garden now later you'll see we did expand um, our garden and so we have some stuff that's further away from the house but i would not have wanted to start my garden that far away here, I was able to come out of my back door, which leads from the kitchen and go out to my raised beds. So it made it very, very convenient, right? So think about what is that spot for you? Will you start with one raised bed, four raised beds, two raised beds, and where are they going to be? Is it easy, easily accessible so that you're gonna wanna go out there? Number one, is it? does it get direct sunlight you know, and things that require full sun. When we say full sun, it needs at least six hours of sunlight. If it's a plant, a crop, a vegetable, an herb that requires full sun, at least six hours of direct sunlight. And then what is your ease and your access to water? That is the number one first step. So I want you to pause now and think about, do you know where your garden is going to go? And if you have multiple options, pick the first place you want to start your garden. 
Okay, a couple other things you need to think about about where you're going to place your garden is making sure that it is like, see what's around the place where you want to have your garden. Is it going to be shaded out by another structure? Is it going to be shaded out by big trees? That's something else to think about. On the flip side of that also, is it going to be susceptible to a lot of wind? Because there's certain crops that will not like a lot of wind. So if you live in a, in a in a high mountain area or in a, in a deep valley or something like that all those things think about your garden and the weather in your area and how that may or may not impact your crops so those are things to think about so again for me and i'm going to turn the camera around and show you the back of my um house where i put my raised beds there was nothing out here right so there's no trees out here there's no there was no structure so i didn't have to worry about any of that but some of you may have to also, depending on what you're going to grow in, if you're going to grow in the ground, you want to know what kind of soil you have, right? Now, there are other options for growing in the ground that we're going to talk about in another video in this series because in the back of my house, I have raised beds. So it didn't matter about the soil because I was able to bring in the soil that I wanted. But if you're thinking about planting in ground, know what kind of soil you have and if it's going to be good soil that you can grow in. So let me turn the camera around and show you my raised beds. So right there are the four original raised beds that we did four years ago. Now, they look new because we've redone the wood. And I'll talk about um, the advantages and disadvantages of doing wood, wooden raised beds in another video. But we've redone the wood because the wood only lasted like two, two years or so. But those are the four original raised beds. And then you see here is the fifth raised bed that we put up. We put this fifth raised bed up a year later. You can see my dogs will be on all the videos because wherever I am, that is where they are. But those are the five raised beds in the back of my house. So you can see, where you see those dog cages, my back door that goes into my kitchen is right there. So literally I could just walk out of my back door and I could come and harvest my crops. I could plant and all of that. These beds are four by eight um raised beds they're all the same size the very last thing i want to talk about in this video if you want to start a garden is mindset you got to get your mind right and what i mean by that is i don't want to hear you say i don't want to see you type in that i don't know that i can grow food i have a brown thumb let me tell you this and you will hear me say this over and over and over food wants to grow seeds want to want to grow it is designed in them to grow if you give them the right environment I'm sorry, there's ladybugs all out here. If you give them the right environment, um, food, I mean, in terms of soil, nutrition, light, sunshine, water, space, they will grow. I don't care if you've never grown successfully before, you are going to grow successfully. So I want you to get your mind right and know that you can grow food. This is coming from somebody who had never, ever put her hands in dirt. And you will see as we go through this series, you will see how God has blessed abundantly and I have a lush garden. I have abundance in just four years. The Lord has blessed me on how to do that. And if I can do it, you can do it too. So whatever your hangups are, whatever your insecurities are, I want you to leave them at this video. And I want you to get your mind right that you can grow food. So in this first video, we talked about where do you want your garden to be? What are your goals? Um, why are you growing food and your mindset? This is the foundation before you start a garden. Do not try to go to step five on step five's video and then come back to this one. This is where you start if you want to grow food abundantly. I hope this video helped you. Let me know what questions you have on the topics that we talked about today. And stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna talk about what are you gonna actually plant in. I will go through the different mediums of things to plant in like raised beds, grow bags, containers, in ground. I will show you all the things in the next video. Until next time, remember, gardening is a journey. Let's grow together. I'll see you next time, friend.